Teen War Galley. How the hell did it get down here? Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones, and I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. the ice somehow. Yeah. <sighs> 
now to find out what's up there. so much wealth with them. It's done. We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here, with us. I've always kept a little poison at the ready, in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. Brooch. The enamel work is beautiful. Um, okay. This portrait has been defaced. It looks like it was depicting the prophet. They must have had to hide their faith. Yes, make sure that any time you can zoom in, zoom out, is that you want to just make sure that you just take a look at the whole object itself. Because you can also find out other clues to solve objectives as well as what's really going on as far as Yeah. 
shoes on. I, I do not know what drives him. We pass through frozen mountains at the edge of the world as people are dying. Every day I pass graves or bodies left along the faint trail. I have grown thin and hard, but I am close now. My, my horse is dead, the mare that had been with me since the campaigns against the Bulgars. I butchered her and carried the meat on my back. But I am so close. I can hear them singing just over the ridge, a joyous sound on the wind. Our prophet will be dead within the week. And I will return to the Order of Trinity, triumphant. Just one more day, and I will be upon him. Now that is a true hunter. enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? So, there are people who live out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true.
nothing I can do for him now. All units, just... First day in Siberia, and it happens. Two years in Afghanistan and another in Indonesia, nothing. But one day out here on the ice, and pop, I get a kill. I watch the man's eyes go glassy as he begged me for something. I'm not Russian, I'm no clue. I waited with him and watched. One minute he was there, and next, nothing. Just meat. I got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood, but he's just meat now, and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us we're out here for a special reason, tells us we're doing God's work. I'm starting to see that now. A word. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. We need to get this mess in order before he arrives. Hey, can anyone hear me? God damn it, we gotta get comms back up. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed to take one of them alive. Who the hell are these people? Initial recon said there was an old village up in these mountains. Hold up. Gonna check it. I copy. And 
until we get someone out here to shut that pump off, I want those crates as far away from the fire as possible. Double time. There's ammo in there, and we can't afford to lose it. Haven't heard any shots for a few minutes now. I think we're in the clear. Don't count on it. Stay alert until we get the comms reestablished with the prison. We're on our own out here. That was Constantine's chopper. What the hell is he doing down here? Not for me to say. It took one of the natives alive for questioning, but it cost us three men. I'm guessing the man wants to know what they find out. Constantine expects more from us. Yeah, someone's gonna pay for that mistake. Prioritize the live rounds. And keep them separate from the rapids. I got a feeling we'll want those in this Yes, sir. Ugh. Most of these rations were burned in the blast. <laughs> I think this one's a loss. Soviet plaque. Lenin lived. Lenin lives. Lenin will live forever. I know I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it, but I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best-case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. 
For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. He'll bleed out.
I left you in charge here. Yes, sir. But we didn't expect such heavy resistance. You were to be my eyes. I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes, but no. No. You don't. No. How could someone like you? <laughs> Go easy. Go easy. Fear the suffering. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. If we succeed here, a new world awaits. One of our own making. Constantine, you're needed back at the prison right away. We've got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Remain faithful. We will share in the glory of the divine source. Oh God, please. What do we do with him? No. Nobody touch him. Looks like we got another fuel leak. What the hell happened? This thing is 50 years old. Yeah, it looks like the valve failed. All right, let's get it shut. We can't afford to lose any more after that attack. Okay, I got this. Hold that hard steady. Just need some more leverage. Damn it. Cover stripped. You want to give me a hand? Yeah, sure. all this goddamn fuel. How's it look? Damn it. Come on. Hold on. That's too much force. Take it easy. Oh, goddamn thing is rusted through. How's it looking? Nah, I'm not sure I can stop the leak. If this doesn't work, we'll have to crimp the pipe until we get a new valve. Not sure we'll be able to find spare parts out here. Way to destroy that tank.
Soviet propaganda, night won't prevent us from working. that I should learn how to shoot. However, he tried to teach me today. I was utterly hopeless. I've always said in the field you can't go wrong with a stout stick and good boots. I told him I was a man of words, not of weapons. He laughed and said that he hoped I could find the right words to slow down a charging bison. I told him that's what he was for. Bless him for trying, though. I don't think there'll be any more lessons somehow. Roth always said I must have gotten my sharp eyes and steady hands from Mum. That summer, he taught me to shoot instead. I took to it. Maybe too well. <laughs> 